I think most women think that just because they have regular periods, they are fertile. But most women actually don't really look. So when they actually start to log in there, apps, then they find that, oh, my cycles are not as regular as, as I thought, and they're actually shifting. So it is good for women to at least keep track once they actually want to conceive, to know, do they have a 28, 32 day cycle, pretty much thereabouts, and do they actually notice the symptoms um, of ovulation, do they notice the mucus discharge in the middle of the cycle to, to, to come in, to tell them that, yes, I'm ovulating, um, or not. If they don't seem to see these things, then perhaps they should come in earlier. And uh, by earlier, we would, what we would do would be to screen them. We look at on the ultrasound, do we see that they have got um, a follicle or the egg cyst growing? And does it grow to the correct size? And does it actually ovulate? Because sometimes there are women who actually have many, many eggs, so many eggs, and they don't actually ovulate. So here we have to intervene by giving them medications to help the eggs to, to grow, to grow to a certain size. Then we help them to induce ovulation and tell them to try when it's the correct time. Again, we're not just looking at the women, we also look at the men. So we want to know if his little people are doing very well. Are the sperm count enough? Are they healthy? Do they have a lot of breakdown in the DNA? Because we're finding more and more that if on the, the male factor, so there's, if the sperms are not very strong, they tend to break down more. It does lead to increased risk of miscarriage even if she conceives. So we want women to conceive well and to succeed in having a live birth, not have it stop soon after.